So as coaches, a useful app for you is the EasyTag app. So this one's £4.99 and it enables you to analyse performance in the field, so real time as well as lapse time. So if we click on the second icon across the app, you'll be presented with a screen like this. First of all, what we need to do is we need to create a panel and then link that to a notebook. So to do that and change the panel, so we need to add this panel in. So I've clicked on the top three lines on the top left. If I click on panels, it enables me to, well, it gives me an option to use ones that I've already created. The try me ones within this window are example ones that Dartfish have put on there for you. So I, I don't want to use those, I want to use a new panel. So I go to new panel, and this is where I select the layout. So if I want four buttons, it'll be two times two. If I want six buttons, it'll be two times three. So I'm gonna go two times three because I want one, three buttons for successful, three buttons for unsuccessful. And I'll show you how that works now. So click on two times three. Right, so now it's the stage to put my variables into this panel. So to edit a button, so we've got six buttons on the screen. I click on one of the empty buttons and it gives me an option. So within the keyword now, I can change that. So if I click on that, delete that. So I might want pass successful. Okay, you can change the color. So we can scroll down, I'm gonna have that green. And at the bottom, you've got pre-roll and duration. So this, if a pass, you only want to see one second before and one second after. So it'd be like a two second clip, if you were to do that. Um, for example, a corner kick would be two seconds before maybe, and the duration, so that afterwards, would be, say, about 10 seconds, because you want to see what's happened after the corner kick has taken place. So for this example, I'll go to one second and one second. So you can just easily scroll down here and press save. So that's one. So on the other side, on the opposite side now, I'm going to have pass unsuccessful. And I'm going to have this red to promote negative. So I'm going to change this to one second again pre-roll and one second duration. So I scroll down here and press save. So another option that I might have is if I wanted to do possession. So I go, if I went team A, I'll label that, that can be a that color. And now I'm gonna to have to click on and off this button. So it'll give me a time that team A, and then on the opposite side, I'm gonna create a button saying team B, is gonna be able to give me a time of when, how long team A and team B are in possession. So if I go to pre-roll, and I can scroll down here and go to zero seconds and then duration I want variable okay so if I press save now I have to click on and off that button so I want to do the same now for team B you will obviously know 
what your team names are. This is just an example. So if we click on the color now, I'll change the color to yellow. So we'll go pre-roll zero and then the duration to variable again. So now we've got pass successful. You might not have the possession and the passes in one window. I'm just showing you different ways to actually analyze the performance using this app. So another variable that we might add in would be tackle. So we can have tackle made in there. So we leave that as grey and we can leave that as four seconds, that's fine. And then we'll the opposite to a tackle made, maybe missed, or we'll just call it we'll call it a foul for this example. So I'll change that to that colour. And I'm gonna leave the pre-roll and duration as I did with the other. So now we've got our panel. You now need to add this to a notebook. Okay. So I know this is a two times three. We can change the name of this. So I'll call it a test, test example. Just a test example. Go back to the panel. And I can go back to panels now. So we can see now where your panel is within all the other saved panels. So now I need to create a new notebook. So if I go to those three lines on the top left, I can click on notebooks. If I go to new notebook, it then asks me to link my panel to this notebook. So I go test example, because that's the one I've just created. And I can change the name of this. So we might say game one. And press create. Once you're happy with that. So as soon as the whistle goes on the game that you're actually analyzing, you're going to press the bottom left where that red circle is, where it says start one period. So I click on that now, then I'm ready to start going. If we go past successful, happened once. And a log, it gets logged up at the top left, or the top bar at the bottom. So as, I, as I'm clicking now, it's telling me what's actually happening. So that, because I've set team A and B up as possession, I have to click on it. And if team B get the ball then, I click off team A and on to team B. But the others will just switch off automatically because I've, gave, I've given those a pre-roll and a duration. So once I'm finished, or if it comes to the second half or the end of the first half, I press the stop button in the bottom left. And then that gives me like a success rate or a percentage of each action. So what I can do now is I can export this to Excel to start analyzing my data. So if I, in the bottom right hand side, if I press the share button, it gives me an option to email it. So I can email that to myself comes up as a CSV which is an Excel file and then you can go in to analyze that at a later date. So I'll put you put your email address in there. And that's how you use Dartfish EasyTag. Thanks for watching.